And let's talk a bit more about all of this with Yan Liang, who is Chair Professor of Economics at Willamette University. Welcome back to the programme. Good to see you. So do these figures tell a story of a China that has adapted in the face of US tariffs? Yeah, good to be with you. So I think, first of all, this number definitely shows that China's exports performance remains very resilient uh, despite this tariff war. Um, but at the same time, I think April is still rather early to see really the full impact of tariff war, uh, just because a lot of the orders have been already placed. And so the shipment, shipment happened in, um, in April. So that's why when you look at the yuan value, the exports to the United States uh, has only go gone down by 1.5% in April. Uh, but I think, you know, with the tariff uh, uh, tricked in, uh, tr tr trickle in more, we're likely to see more damage to the export performance. But that said, I think I agree with you. When you look at the breakdown, uh, China has been able to expand export destinations with ASEAN countries, with the EU, with many of the BRI countries. And so that really helped to cushion uh, the tariff uh, imposition from the United States. And also China's trade structure has really been improving. So you see a lot of these products from China are very competitive and it's very difficult for other countries to find replacements, including the United States. And so I think that is why uh, this really support this very strong export uh, performance in April. And so looking at other markets, we were just seeing that trade with the European Union and Southeast Asia in particular is up. Does that show that there really is healthy appetite for Chinese goods in these regions and countries? Absolutely. Um, as I just mentioned, you know, ASEAN now is actually accounting for 16.8% of the total Chinese trade, and EU comes at the second, accounting for about 12.6%. And the United States is actually the third, uh, accounting only for about 10.2% of China's total trade. And all of this is measured in the RMB uh, released by the uh, customs. So as you, you know, just mentioned, uh, many of these countries do have very close ties with China when it comes to trading relations. And ASEAN countries, of course, um, they import from China. A lot of times they process the imports and intermediate goods and use the machinery and other equipment, help to produce their own exports to other countries. So I think, you know, there is very robust trading relationships with China, uh, you know, among these ASEAN countries and also EU countries. So I think, you know, diversifying China's export destinations um, have been really important uh, for China to weather through this kinds of external shocks coming from the United States. Now, tomorrow, Saturday, is a big day, isn't it? These trade talks between the United States and China. Do you think that these trade figures could strengthen China's hand in these talks? I think so. Um, I think, you know, the trade talk uh, between the U.S. and U.K. seem to suggest that the U.S. is, uh, you know, will, will hold the ground, so to speak, right? They, they are actually difficult to negotiate with, you know, U.K.'s case. Uh, U.K. is actually running a trade surplus with the United States, and yet... Uh, the U.S. Uh, the tariff with U.K. has elevated from the previous about 3% to now 10%. So I think the negotiations will be tough. And so I think with this very robust trade performance coming into the negotiation, I do think that helped to strengthen China's position. Not to mention it also helped boost the domestic confidence uh, in weather through these kinds of external shocks. But that said, I think it is hopeful um, as now uh, these two countries now agree to meet and talk. I think just that sentiment, um, that the changes in tone, I think will help to improve the relationships going forward. Well, hopefully we will find out a bit more tomorrow. Yan Yang, thank you so much. We really appreciate your insights as ever. Uh, Chair Professor of Economics at Willamette University in Portland, Oregon. Yan Yang, thank you.